So first we want to start with the team. I'm Martin, this is George, but we're actually three people. Susanne um, has now joined us just a few days ago and together we are uh, Open Austria. We are uh, at Galvanize uh, in Soma, San Francisco, and together we want to uh, make sure that we can fulfill our mission uh, and also we want to uh, talk about how we can do this together with you, how we can involve you. So who has heard about Open Austria before? Can I see a show of hands? Okay, fair amount. So the press machinery worked well, I guess. So yeah, what is our mission? And uh, we don't want to bore you out in many details, and I think uh, a lot is still in the making since Martin and I uh, arrived three months or three weeks ago here. So um, we basically want to develop this mission with you. But uh, in a nutshell, we are basically connecting Austria and Silicon Valley. Uh, and we want to do this uh, within the innovation community in Austria and Silicon Valley. So it's not only supporting startup, as some of you might have thought, though we had some discussions about, but nevertheless, startups and helping startups to uh, getting immersed in the ecosystem is a very important part of our mission. But uh, furthermore, we also want to help established companies to, to get a little idea about what innovation in the Valley means. Uh, we will work with uh, researchers and uh, scientists uh, on certain projects, and uh, same with uh, policy makers who have been very uh, supportive of these initiatives, and uh, obviously also with uh, creative minds, uh, since Martin also has a very strong uh, arts background, uh, whereas mine is more business and science. So we want you to remember uh, three points. So we are platform and partner for um, the Austrian innovation community based uh, um, in Austria who want to come to Silicon Valley, so that would be that direction. But on the other hand, we also see us as a, uh, see us as a platform here for the Austrians, for the Austrian innovation uh, community in Silicon Valley. And um, in order to close the circle, we also want to make sure that what we experience here, what we learn here, the people we meet here to uh, wrap this into interesting stories and uh, transport uh, that insights back to Austria, which is basically a performing uh, on new trends and uh, what we have learned here. Of course, also we see it as part of our mission to talk about the growing role of Austria as a hub uh, in Europe of innovation. And uh, as an example, a recent article uh, in TechCrunch uh, about Austria being the up-and-coming early stage investment capital of Europe. Um, Austria is particularly strong with uh, seed funding. Um, we have some challenges uh, for for uh, ongoing stages, and the Austrian government, in fact, has recently uh, put together a so-called startup package addressing exactly so this issue. So we also want to keep uh, people here uh, updated about uh, Austria's growing uh, dynamic role as a hub of innovation in Central Europe. And uh, to add to what Martin said, um, the last three years I was wearing more my scientific hat. I was doing my PhD which is not yet done, but trying to do this over the next uh, couple of years. Anyways, I was looking into different innovation ecosystems, mainly comparing uh, selected cities in Europe and in the US. And what you see here is a comparison of uh, Vienna. I don't know if you can read it. That's the, the, this is the first bar, the blue one. Um, Stockholm, which is in the middle, and, Silic oh, no, yeah. and Silicon Valley is the light gray bar here. Um, so what I want to show with this is like, as Martin just said, there's a very strong public support in Austria, a lot of funding as well. So in, in the, the research that I have conducted with university startups, um, we experienced that 80% of the startups that I was asking, university startups, actually received some kind of public support when building up the company, compared to just 30% or one third of the companies here, especially Stanford and Berkeley ecosystem. Sweden is somewhere located here in the middle. So very strong public support in Vienna. But on the other hand, when you look at, um, sorry about the writing, I think it's hard to read. So it says private investors here, and it says uh, firms and SMEs on, on this side. So if you look at the private support that the startups received, the picture is actually inverse. 
you have a strong, very strong, about 60% of the companies in the Silicon Valley received some kind of support uh, from private actors, where in Austria, this, uh, the number is only half, only one third of them. Um, so why is this interesting? Because in another question, I also asked them, so how helpful were these different actors by building up your company? And uh, most of the companies said, especially the private investors and especially the entrepreneurs that we worked with were so helpful in building up their companies. And so this is also by looking back to what we know about the strong public uh, support in Austria, we still need to engage more the private actors to make a strong and lasting ecosystem. And I think that's also one reason why we're here in Silicon Valley, Martin and I, uh, to, with this mission, because uh, the global business landscape is changing. Uh, so value change or the way you do business became global. And I don't want to do, uh, talk too much about globalization. You all know about it. But what we want to uh, emphasize here is that uh, even though the value chains are dispersed over the whole world, Silicon Valley is still one of the most important hubs when it comes to innovation and young companies and has a very important uh, part in this network, especially because of also the private support that you find here. Also, we want to talk a little bit about the institutional setup, the framework of which we are part of, uh, and of course, uh, with what institutions that are already out there, we very closely cooperate. Uh, on the one hand, Open Austria, uh, the ambassador already mentioned it, is an initiative by two institutions in Austria, with one of them being the Austrian Foreign Ministry. Uh, there in particular, there's a new uh, service there, the Business Support Service, that uh, supports Austrian entrepreneurs and uh, startups around the world. And the other institution is the Austrian Chamber of Com Commerce, with, through its network of Advantage Austria around the world. And of course, in particular, we work very, very closely with the Consulate General uh, in Los Angeles, and I want to uh, acknowledge uh, Ulrike, who just uh, uh, arrived from Los Angeles and uh, who's been uh, particularly um, supportive and uh, in, in, in the opening of Open Austria. And then, of course, there's the Austrian Trade Commission in Los Angeles, and we work with the embassy and the, Austria, the uh, Office of Science and Technology in Washington as well. Uh, I also wanted to say that uh, Open Austria, uh, legally speaking, is the uh, part of the Austrian consulate San Francisco. However, our consular services are continued to be provided by Los Angeles uh, and by our honorary consul, uh, Mr. Fredericks, here in San Francisco. So that's kind of like the, the framework, uh, why we are here and uh, our, our setup. So what, what are we planning to do here? As I said, uh, a lot is still like a work in progress and we want to involve you and Martin is going to talk a little bit more of what we have done so far. Um, one example is the Go Silicon Valley Initiative. Can I see a show of hands who not heard about the Go Silicon Valley Initiative? I hope you do because uh, you're actually part of the Go Silicon Valley Initiative. So this is a program initiated by the Austrian uh, Chamber of Commerce in 2009. So it's running now for uh, a couple of years and it's a very successful initiative that has uh, brought more than 100 startups for a three months uh, stay to Silicon Valley where they have the chance to um, set up shop in one of our partner accelerators and incubators here in Silicon Valley or in San Francisco. And the idea basically is to really connect them with San Francisco or uh, the Silicon Valley ecosystem and help them to achieve whatever they're planning to do here. Is it like to step over into the American market, to just get an idea whether their product or services fit the American market, or basically if they're on fundraising and wanna, uh, yeah, wanna take advantage of one of these many investors that are here in the ecosystem. So uh, this is gonna be uh, one of the projects that I particularly gonna bring forward more, and so I would like to also reach out to the community and say, hey, you are these guys uh, who are here in the ecosystem, you know, you have your context, you have your experience. So whenever you want to get uh, engaging with uh, Austrian startups, please come and see me. Um, they're very much looking forward to meet uh, experienced entrepreneurs like you here in this ecosystem. 
So we wanted, of course, uh, not just uh, to come up with our own ideas, but also to involve uh, the community. And uh, what we have done before we arrived here uh, in San Francisco and in Silicon Valley uh, in Austria was to talk uh, to uh, the startup and innovation community. We talked to many startups, to many academics, uh, to many mediators, uh, to many policymakers, what uh, they would expect from Open Austria. And we also had, uh, over the last uh, weeks, a small little online survey. Uh, which we did uh, via Slido uh, at Galvanize. They're a small, or actually a growing and a very dynamic uh, startup from Bratislava. Uh, and uh, the responses kind of uh, confirmed uh, also what we've been told um, by our contacts in Austria. So it's basically and primarily it's about networking. 88% uh, uh, people also want us to do events uh, such as this one. Uh, people uh, also, and that comes up as number three, would like us to engage in cultural events, uh, which I found interesting. I will talk about that in a moment. Uh, and also uh, people are very interested in uh, practical advice. That's, that's particularly coming from startups. When they arrive here, they want to have a landing zone. They don't want to make the same mistakes uh, that other startups have made. So a bit of practical advice, where to get an apartment, um, what, what the main sites are, um, how, how to get around the visa uh, situation. That, that was of particular importance for the startups. Uh, but we also uh, asked the question uh, to whom we should reach out. Uh, and here, uh, number one, I would say uh, the first three uh, points important for our community, universities and research institutions, investors, uh, incubators, uh, and accelerators. So one of the examples of what we can do to provide more visibility for Austrian startups coming to Silicon Valley uh, was the Austrian pavilion at TechCrunch Disrupt. TechCrunch, who knows TechCrunch? Okay, uh, quite a few, it's good. In Austria, maybe not as many hands go up, even though that's getting better. So it's uh, one of the most influential startup and tech platforms, if not in the US, then probably worldwide. And they have uh, major conferences uh, three times a year in London, New York, and San Francisco. And it's a huge event, a huge happening uh, with a lot of media coverage uh, all over the world. And uh, particularly also a startup alley where basically startups from all over the world have the chance to, to showcase their products and innovations over there. And for the first time, uh, we also had an Austrian pavilion there where seven Austrian startups had the chance to actually next to the Hungarian pavilion. So. Uh, Central Europe uh, combined here, uh, where they had the chance to uh, promote their, their innovations. And all of them, uh, I talked to them during and after the event, were really happy with the outcome. And particular for Timular, Time Molar, uh, it was a quite successful trip to the West Coast since they got covered in uh, the TechCrunch, uh, this uh, TechCrunch website on the blog, uh, which has uh, millions of readers. So for them, it was uh, really a success, and so it was a success for us. Uh, so uh, a short word also about uh, culture. Um, as some of you know me, uh, know that I have a very strong cultural background. Um, I lived seven years in New York uh, working in culture. Uh, but this uh, place, San Francisco, at the Bay Area, Silicon Valley, is I think a particularly interesting um, region for two reasons. It has a very strong tradition, obviously, in the technology uh, industry, but also in the artistic. There are several artistic intellectual traditions come there. And we see that they often operate kind of as parallel worlds with no connections. And what we want to achieve with Open Austria is actually bring those uh, two areas together and look at the interface of arts and technology. Uh, there is a um, organization in Austria, Ars Electronica in Linz, that is doing exactly that uh, and are very well recognized. Their director, uh, Gerfried Stocker, was here in San Francisco last week. And so we're going to do uh, with them a lot of programs over the coming months and years. So last but not least, uh, I hope that was interesting and I uh, hope you got a better idea about what Aus Open Austria is about and what uh, Martin, I and Susie uh, plan to do over the next couple of months and years. Um, we want to inform those of you who haven't heard about it yet that we have our official opening tomorrow at 9 o'clock at the Galvanize co-working space in San Francisco. So if you haven't signed up there, 
uh, we are full, but uh, we're still happy to welcome you over there. So please reach out to Martin and me after the event. And please also look at our webpage, uh, follow us on Twitter. There will be some uh, other social media channels uh, to follow. We hope we will grow. We will only grow, as the ambassador said, together with you. Uh, so we are here uh, to answer your questions, if there are any questions, and we're really very much looking forward to the next weeks, uh, months, and years, and work with you, the community, our community, together to make this happen. Thank you very much.